tells you clearly that if you are a so-called black person, uh, nine times out of ten, you, even though you, you do not get a bad reaction, nine times out of ten, you're probably lactose intolerant, which means that you should not be uh, uh, ingesting anything that's, uh, um, that's what you call it, uh, uh, dairy. Anything dairy, you go, you gonna kill yourself. You gonna kill yourself because you know it is it, because one specific ingredient that is uh, uh that is in uh in the thing. But go ahead, brother. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying as far as the milk. Uh, you know, it, it'll basically leach the minerals from your bones. Yeah. Uh, because like we said, when I say vital, I say almond is vital. Like 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 I say, other people say. You know, uh, vital minerals. So that you not that you don't have because the sun in all you know the sun is going to give you actual actual minerals. You know, it's going to add to you. You feel me? It's going to help produce that with the hormones and the alchemy that's already within you. <clears throat> but uh, milk, you know, that we are uh, getting over here in America can't do that. You feel me? So it's going to actually do the opposite. It's going to leach. The minerals that you, you know, so desperately need is going to leach them from your bones. So, like I said, once again, the sun gives strong bones. Uh, it's not milk. But today, I'm going to shout out my brother Los Page. You feel me? Because uh, I had actually seen this post. And sister, y'all seen it? You want to help me one more time? Yeah, again, um, I don't have my glasses, so I had to enlarge. Give me a sec. Um, lost page. Lost page. Okay. Lost page. Um, reposted uh, from raw farm raw milk versus the pasteurized experiment. So for step one, he made observations, which is the scientific method. So raw milk is a living food with active ingredients. Pasteurized milk is filled with dead bacteria, uh, denatured proteins, destroyed enzymes, and more. Raw milk can be utilized outside refrigeration, um, as has been done for centuries to make many types of healthy dairy products. However, when pasteurized milk is allowed to grow in a non-refrigerated environment, mold and other strange things appear. <clears throat> so step two, you form an hypothesis. When raw milk and pasteurized milk, which is organic or conventional, are left at room temperature, bacteria grows naturally. Raw milk continues to um, appear normal and be enjoyable and be a safe product to consume. Pasteurized Pasteurized milk becomes moldy and unsafe to consume. In step three, you make a prediction. Raw milk will become a sour cream or separated cheese-like product, um, safe to consume and enjoy. Pasteurized milk becomes rank, rank it and harmful to consume. Raw milk will become an edible, enjoyable product, safe to consume. And step four, um, you perform the experiment. And here's your picture proof. The five jars were all filled on the same day. I prefer not to reveal the brand name on the labels, but two are conventional milk brands and two are organic milk brands. The whole milk is Jersey cow, milk from cows that live on grass. Um, jars were all sterilized before the experiment. I tightened all the lids and then Back them off a half turn, okay? Because you've got to do everything to each jar, okay? So I have done this experiment before, and I'm absolutely stunned at how little remains of what is labeled whole milk. Isn't this blatantly dishonest labeling? Additionally, I consistently see that the UHT, which is the ultra high temp uh, pasteurized milk, goes bad the fastest. So in step five, he um, analyzed the results of the experiments. So see mold growth pictures. 
The mold on lids show an estimate for the quantity of mold growth inside each jar. Whoa. Oh, sorry about that. That was my mistake. Okay. So, <clears throat> the mold growth levels. Raw whole milk, there's no mold. Pasteurized whole milk, medium mold levels. Pasteurized 2% milk, high mold levels. Pasteurized organic whole milk, medium mold levels. Ultra high temperature pasteurized 2% milk, extremely high mold levels. So on step six, you can draw your conclusion. Drink raw milk, it is a living, biodiverse, perfect food. Raw milk is a controversial, heavily regulated um, by the government, but may swear by the health benefit. Highly recommended A2 dairy only. So he did the experiment himself, and there's the results. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's nice. And I ain't even finna lie. I I used to love the shit out of milk. I never ever drank milk. Not even when I was pregnant. It, to, never. It, it 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 was like like something to me to me but like maybe past past 10 years ago it was something that if i went to the to the grocery store it, it it was irrational in my mind to leave the store without a gallon of milk it was like what why you have to take a gallon of milk it's like that's the mm -hmm. thing to do. Uh, you need you want strong bones right 